allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And before you boys all go sit down, if you would please swing by the microphone over here at the podium. Tell us who you are, which troop you're with, uh, and if you're here working on one of your merit badges this evening, please. Which one? Uh, I'm Caleb Gorley. Uh, we're with Troop 4, and we're here to speak about the Refugee Center. Okay. Great. Thank you. I'm Ethan Sumption, and uh, we're, yeah, we're also here for the <laughs> Refugee Center, so and I'm working on my Eagle project for, to build a bike shed for the Refugee Center. Thank you. I'm Steven Thuson, and we're here for the Refugee Center, and we're with Troop 4. So. Thank you. I'm, I'm Colby Gorley, and I'm with Troop 4, and we're here for the Refugee Center. I'm Kyler Western, and I'm here with Troop 4 for the Refugee Center. I'm Porter St. Clair, and I'm here for the Refugee Center. I'm, I'm Asher Gertz from Troop 4, and I'm here for the Refugee Center. I'm Blake Crandall from Troop 4, here for the Refugee Center. I'm Colton Ward from Troop 4, here for the refu yeah, Refugee Center. <laughs> I'm Logan Pittard, um, Troop 4, here for the Refugee Center. I'm Crew Peterson here from Troop 4, for the Refugee Center. Great. Thank you very much. I uh, would like to call the meeting to order. We do have a quorum of the council. By, by putting people in different categories instead of all residents, citizens, what we're doing is we're setting aside precedent. We're setting aside precedent that everybody is created equal and have equal rights. Now, the, my concern was the, about the sanctuary city, and I know this is not termed a sanctuary city, but it's surprising to me that we have a scout troop here that are in favor of the refugee center and I don't know that they know a whole lot about it. So we Mr. Edwards if you want to speak about the welcoming resolution that's on the agenda coming up okay, and you're welcome okay, to speak well, on that. Okay. So I'll, this is for I'll, items not on I'll, the agenda. I'll do that also. Uh, so the first item on the agenda under items for consideration uh, this evening is presentation of a welcoming city resolution and we have uh, Dr. Mark Crandall. Dr. Crandall? And I know you have a couple of the scouts you'd like to introduce to join you as well. Thank you for having us here. We're, we're grateful to be here. And as you know, we are here in support of the CSI Refugee Program and the Welcoming City Resolution. We're going to take just a few minutes to explain why we're here and what we're asking the council to do. I'm going to turn the time uh, to our scouts, Ethan Sumption and Caleb Corley. My name is Ethan Sumption. I'm 14. I'm working on my Eagle project. Um, I'm a proud member of the Snake River Council Troop 4. I noticed right away that right away that the refugee center needed a bike shed to like safely store their bikes and provide bikes for people who need it for transportation to like work or school or whatever they need. And so that's what I would want what I would like to do. So, I'm Caleb Gorley, I'm 15, and I'm an Eagle Scout in Troop 4. Um, I had the pleasure of working with the CSI Refugee Center uh, last fall for my Eagle project. Um, when I was looking for something to do for my project, I noticed that they had no way to practice for their Idaho driver's test. Um, so I contacted Goody Motor and um, arranged to have a car donated to them, to the center. Um, and then I took some of the scout troop over to Goody Motor and did a few hours of service um, and I just I loved working with the refugee center and I loved the people there as well well thanks Caleb and Ethan we have great scouts I think they're great examples to all of us uh, to the first question of why we are here why does this issue matter so much to us I think you need to know a little bit more about us and who we are uh, as you know Boy Scout troops are sponsored by organizations, so each troop has a sponsoring organization, usually a church congregation. Uh, in this area, almost all of the Scout troops are organized and sponsored by LDS wards, just like ours. And if you're familiar with church history or the Mormon pioneers, you'll know why that issue really hits home to us. And so in the 1800s, the early church members and Joseph Smith were driven from state to state, New York, 
to Ohio, to Missouri, to, to Illinois, trying to escape persecution. In Illinois, he was killed by an angry mob, and then Brigham Young took the rest of the church and left the United States trying to escape. They, they went to Utah and settled Salt Lake City, which at the time was northern Mexico. And so today, we call them Mormon pioneers, but they were American refugees in every sense of the word. And that is part of why that issue hits home, especially to us. It's why part of why we feel so strongly about helping refugees and preserving uh, religious freedom for all and all religions. Now, there's a lot of other reasons to support the Refugee Center and a welcoming resolution. There's a lot of other people involved that would love to see this pass, including, the city count, er, including other cities. For example, the city council in Boise unanimously passed a welcome resolution just a few months ago. The city council in Ketchum did the same. This symbolic gesture is what we're asking the city council to approve. Our refugee center is one of only two centers in Idaho, and their numbers are declining. For example, uh, it, about six months ago, we could expect 110,000 refugees coming into the United States. Now, it's about 50,000. In Twin Falls, that number is also half of what it was. One refugee center in Boise closed their doors in February. Our refugee center is an important part of our community. It's been here for almost 30 years and has provided, the, through the United Nations and official channels, a new start to thousands of families uh, from all over the world. Now, this statement is a symbolic statement. It does not have a financial, fiscal impact. It doesn't have a policy impact. It might not improve, uh, or it might not increase the numbers of refugees coming here. Uh, I don't know if it'll change national policy. I doubt that it will. But I can tell you, it might change the people in this room tonight. It might change some of the people in our city. And I hope that it will send a strong message through the media that we support the center and that we are a welcoming city. I grew up in Twin Falls, and I have always felt safe. I have always felt welcome. We want everyone to feel the same, and I hope that our city council will pass a resolution reaffirming that Twin Falls always has been a welcoming city and will continue to be so, and that we value all of our residents regardless of refugee status, immigration status, or religion. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Crandall. Thank you, Dr. Crandall. Thank you, Ethan and Caleb. I appreciate the, the presentation. I know we have... Uh,